Hello everyone, welcome to Tech EQA channel and in this video we are going to see some more action with Cypress. So here is the home page. I can tell you there are docs also available. So what are the method we have and uh, how to handle the method for each method, what are the parameter we have to send. So in the doc, just click on API. So you can see all the things, event, accessions and commands. In commands if you want to click so what and all you can pass through click how can you click click dot get button is the CSS or ID then click and contains welcome if you want to click something with the text contains and click so like that lot of API and methods are there so uh, let me show you some scenario something like going to automation practice uh, web page and click on sign in and enter the email address and password then click on sign in button then validate the title or just log log into the site so the small scenario we are going to create so that you will get some idea how to handle other element as well okay this case is i will just go we have already one sample uh, things just copy this code or it's okay fine uh, i'm going to create one more in under integration i will create one more login spec.js here context of so what what i have to create login uh, cypress demo login okay here then it's a test suit and I have to create test case. Uh, this is like a login scenario. Inside CA dot visit the site name you should give the site name. So I have showed here right the site name automation practice dot com. okay just uh, run it to see check whether it's works fine or something like that you have created context it it's a test suit and test case name then just a visit visit is the method to uh, going to the site just visit this site okay so just go to cypress app you can see one more login spec so uh, once you create and save it will be generated here as well just click on it it will launch the browser and uh, you can see the command okay there is some scenario issue just go back to sample spec and check whether what happened yeah so we missed the syntax of uh, something like that okay so just uh, keep the syntax neat so like I try to create but I have missed the uh, function uh, syntax so the people who are comfortable with Java like the syntax will be little confusing so you have to create this way only so I can change the test case name for this Cypress demo and uh, login scenario the website automationpractice.com okay here uh, then I have to click on a button so I have to click on sign in button so what I will do I have to uh, get the CSS selector for this or you can use a text so I'm going to use a CSS selector in this uh, whole session so I, I will tell you how like I have already video how to get the CSS selector I will give one plugin also it will give you a uh, good CSS selector not all the junk values so class name is login copy this dot login so only one match here I can see so copy this cy dot get give the CSS selector then click okay so now it should it should launch the site and click on this uh, button login button let's see what happens I will 
top which is existing running just click on login spec it goes to automationpractice.com then it should click on login button yeah it's the, the, with this session i already already have a, a logged in that's why it will fail sure it will fail now it will click yeah yeah so it went to the page and logged in okay now what we can do we have to write to enter the username and password that email and password just click on sign in here i will just i have a plugin called pix css selector so i have this plugin name web driver scripting assistance so once we have that you can directly get css selector pick css selector just go here cy dot get paste your css selector then type what do you want to type inside not type of type my email id okay so i have typed like this then i have to type password then i have to click on button i just copied so click on button i have to click only anyway so here i have to enter the password the second one go here and uh, get the css selector for uh, password just paste it for the sign in button right click on pick css selector and paste it here so i just enter css selector then type my email id and the password is one two three four five okay then the button i have to click on login okay now ca dot title title should include for the assertion we are going to assert the title then the title what i what i have i just give my account let it fail on the assertion part we can change so how it fail how it assertion source also we can see it here okay this is the actual scenario for login so visit it for going to the site get this element click get this email element then type this word get the password then type this word then get this sign up button then click on it then title should include this my account text so now i'm going to run this test cases just stop click on login spec sure it will fail on the session because the title i'm not sure what it is so simply i have given my account yes it it just launched the site next command is uh, you can see here actually uh, what is this command what's happening here and all okay so the assertion expected is my account store the actual is my account store but we have just written my account so that's why it failed okay so if you if it is failed something you can just like uh, you can just navigate it like this for example you can see all the screenshot sign in button and uh, after sign in page loaded and get email you can see here focus and after uh, after click on login but what is the where is the login button click on login button then page load page loaded this is what you will get page loaded then title okay so you can debug also very easy with this script so that's the like if if it fails we'll get to know why it failed element is not there or something okay so snapshot dom after and before now we'll update the update the session message and we'll make the test case pass so which one already running just stop it run it again for each step is the taken the screenshot and we can see that animation thing like it clicked or not so it will, like it will be very easy for everyone right if we have a screenshot for everything 
now it's logged in then sign up login button done yes asset also pass you can see here green login scenario is pass you can see small kind of video as well okay if you want to select the bag select something like that you can just select you can get the selector also for any element in this screenshot for example if it failed when you click on the sign out sign out button right just click on sign out buttons okay here you can get cy get and what you want to do so just copy this or or you can use contains also contains hello world no so log out so you can you can refer this click on this element copy to clipboard you can copy the command as well dot click so cypress has these kind of features so it will save a lot of time if you have this kind of features see you can see the videos and it's running so we have changed something and uh, like we have changed and saved it right so it's just running it again so now if i just uh, change logout to logout one i just saved and go here just just go to the browser don't run it and all it just running again so based on the changes you made it will run it so get logout one won't be exist there it will fail it here so this is how you will get it okay a session for pass this button is not there okay i think you have understood us like how can you create some script and uh, what are the feature available with cypress and how the screenshot is uh, taken by the cypress how to debug also everything we got to know in this uh, session if you have any doubt please put into comments and in future videos we can see like how to handle the, some other type of elements something like drop down window iframe alert these other things thanks for watching please subscribe our channel if you like it and please share with your friends as well thanks for watching bye bye